All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at the antithesis of Utopia. Yes, the the anti-Utopia. So I'm not Daniel while reviewing this. I'm Lee Nad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is number ninety-eight. Dystopia. All right, not not Utopia. This is a dystopia. Ooh, dark. Oh, uh, that's the opposite. Mm-hmm. Still a warrior. I mean, I mean, what's what's the opposite of a warrior? You kind of probably didn't sense it with that. XC effect monster still rank four. And, uh, you know, you you kind of made him just a normal monster. he have been level four. That's the opposite of a rank, right? Mm. Uh, 2,000 attack, 2,500 defense. Ah, I see, it's Utopia stats reversed. Oh, wow, so evil. I see what you did there. So his materials, he is made with two level 4 monsters. Okay, so is regular Utopia. Yeah, <laughs> for being the opposite, the antithesis of Utopia, you still have a lot of similarities. But, uh, let's go ahead and see that effect. I like the card art, though. Let's go ahead and look at that card art. It's pretty powerful. It's like, yeah, that's definitely an evil Utopia. You know, the, he kind of looks like Utopia, but then he has that cool sword and the wings look cool and so dark. Kind of looks like a, kinda like a Dark Realm monster with the background, but uh, still kind of badass. I, I can go with that, so hopefully his effect is worth it. So, when any player's monster declares an attack, you can attach the same material from this card, change that monster to defense position. Okay, so he blocks an attack like Utopia, except he turns it to defense position, because you can't attack one in defense position, but Utopia's like, hey, I just blocked the attack, so... Uh, you know, I I thought you were going to do something opposite, like if your opponent would try to block your attack, you still get to, you know, negate that effect or go through. I thought you were going to do something opposite. You're kind of doing the same exact thing, except you turn it to defense instead of just blocking the attack. Like, okay, I guess. Still not looking up to the hype, I still don't get it. Uh, during either player's turn, this card is in your graveyard. Alright, you can target one Utopia monster on the field. Mm hmm Special summon this card in defense position, and if you do attach that target to this card and exceed material, you can only use the effect of number 98 dystopia once per turn. Anti-utopia! Okay, so f pretty much F your lightning, that's pretty much what you're saying. So, uh, of course, we have some of them invincible as boss monsters, like, well, we used to have towers and, and you know, monsters that are just like, how do you get over this? Well, you can, you know, attack over at Utopia the Lightning, go to that 5,000. But this card pretty much just says, hey, fuck you, Utopia Lightning. I mean, it's not very often that you're going to see any other Utopia-esque monsters on the field often besides Utopia the Lightning. So you pretty much just make this guy, he gets, he goes to the graveyard, and he pretty much sits there and pretty much deters your opponent from ever going to Utopia Lightning. I can easily see, like, you know, like Raid Rappers just going to this guy. Then he dies, and then when you bust out your Ultimate Falcon, your opponent's gonna be like, Oh, Ultimate Falcon? Oh, no, I can't touch that. I guess I have to attack over it. Alright, I'm gonna go into Utopia, Utopia Lightning. And you'd be like, On Summon of Utopia Lightning. I'm gonna go ahead and Special Summon my Dystopia, take your Utopia Lightning, and attack the Exude Material. Nope. <laughs> like, that's pretty crazy that it, you, just, you just target Utopia on the field. It doesn't even have to be on your side of the field. It could just be on the field, period, including your opponent's Utopia Lightning. Summon this from your graveyard, and then just take it and just BAM, attack the Exude Material. Okay, okay, that's not terrible. I mean, I wish it wasn't so utopia right? but I mean, really, what do you expect from the anti-utopia? He's the utopia that fucks up other- well, he's the dystopia that fucks up utopia. Like, he, he, he is the anarchy of the utopia that utopia creates, I guess, but... Holy crap, I mean, that, I think that, I think that's pretty interesting, because I've always thought, I was like, man, fucking lightning, man, you bust out on the field at the right time, with the right strength, and it's like... Damn, like, you can't even hit it with a, you can't, of course you can't, it's like an Amidis Esquipex, right? you can't, you know, Mirror Force or anything, you're just gonna get fucked up, it goes to 5,000, you're just gonna get fucked up, but now, I mean, before that opponent even goes into battle phase, as soon as they think about even summoning that one Utopia of the Light, and then you can just keep doing that, you know, we pretty much deter for the rest of the game, because he'll just go back to the graveyard, your opponent summons the Utopia, fuck him up, I mean, as that's not very often you see a whole bunch of Utopias, but... Alright, alright, I see you, I see you, especially if you're playing like some kind of deck that definitely gets fucked up like with Utopia Lightning, uh, something like Yang Zings or Grails or, or something floaty-esque that would just get completely crushed by the power of Utopia Lightning because of that amazing effect, you can just be like, alright, well, you know, I made a, I made a rank 4, so I might as well, you know, I just went, you know, Insta Fusion Norton, Norton summoned back like Sawani or something, go into this, it's in the graveyard. Oh, Utopia Lightning, man, that would sure fuck up my day of my floaty-ass monsters. I have this Mr. Tomato, I really want his effect. Huh, <laughs> Dystopia? Give me that Utopia Lightning, you don't need that, you don't need that. Go ahead and take this Neg, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take Utopia. Cute. It's really cute. That's all I have to say, it's cute. 
uh, I mean, you only need one. You really only need one. And, I mean, would I even recommend even playing this? I mean, I don't know. Like I said, if Utopia was a more prominent thing, like, there's, like, two good Utopias, then maybe we could talk. But just for Lightning? Just for Lightning? I'm not sure. You know? And, I mean, if your opponent's just summoning any regular Utopia, then more powers to them. I mean, really, who cares? And the rest of Utopias are barely played outside of their own, you know, devoted deck. So I can't, I can't even say that this is, you know, worth putting in your toolbox. I really can't. It's so situational. You gotta summon this when you can just make a XC monster that you're pretty much throwing away. I mean, 2,000 attack is nothing. You know, it got to 25 booty. He has the opposite, but, I mean, 25, um, 2,000 attack, meh. He doesn't really do anything except from block and attack during defense mode. Meh. Yeah. And if your opponent if your opponent summons a Utopia, then you get to go ahead and use his second grade. But if your opponent never summons a Utopia, then you just took a neg, and out of all the rank four XC monsters you could have made, you made this. So, um, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about uh, number eighty nine Dystopia. So I am the antithesis of Daniel. I am Lee Nad. And, uh, I'm looking forward, or no, I am not looking forward to what you guys will not comment in the comment section below. That got weird. Real fast. <laughs> Alright, people. <laughs> Thanks for watching.